Well, the first thing we did is we had them make a pledge. And basically that consisted of kind of going over with them what were some realistic expectations and what, what kind of a commitment on their part it was going to take. And then we asked them to, you know, decide how much they, time they could commit, how serious they were, and to pledge a realistic amount to themselves, their team, their family, any support group that they had. I've always been a big fan of the buddy system, okay? Uh, if, if you have a friend the similar goal or a friend that's already working out, all right, that's a perfect way to, you know, establish some accountability is, you know, be like, hey, you know, Beth, Joe, Sue, whatever, let's, let's, you know, let's do this together, you know, help me get in shape, I'll make you accountable, you make me accountable, and um, just use whoever you have around you. Um, so you should never be afraid to ask for help or seek help. Uh, the biggest thing, you know, biggest reason that people fail is they come into a gym and they expect to see some type of result that they have in their mind and they don't get it. And so rather than seek help, they just get frustrated and they quit and they give up. And habitually, for some reason, people do it over and over and over and over again and expect to see different results. But really what you need when you're in a rut, when you're in a plateau, okay, you, sh you should seek help, okay? Whether it be, you know, from a friend or from a professional, all right, there's ways out there to make you successful. There's tools out there to make you successful. And you just, you can't be afraid to utilize it. You wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't take my car over to my neighbor or I wouldn't sit and try and train the transmission myself because I don't know how to. If something comes up and I'm stuck, you know, I need a ride, okay, I'm going to ask for help. I'm going to get a ride and I'm going to take it to a mechanic. Same thing with our bodies, okay? When we get in a rut or, you know, we have something that hurts or we're not sure if we're doing something right, we should, you know, find somebody that has the know-how or the professionalism, you know, to help us through that, and then we won't lose motivation. Then we'll keep with it, and we'll continue to see results, and we won't fit in that, you know, that statistical percentage that falls off the wagon.